Hey guys, and welcome back to Deku Tarot. It's your weekend tarot reading for March 28th and 29th of 2020, Friday and Saturday. Um, we're looking forward to the weekend, although I feel that a lot of us have felt like we've been on an extended weekend and we might not even know what day it is anymore. <laughs> if you've been in isolation too long, I hope you guys are doing okay. Um, if you guys haven't, do make sure to subscribe to the channel. Do make sure to hit that wiggly bell in the corner. It'll notify you whenever I go live and post up my readings. And definitely check out your April 2020 readings. Um, those should all be up by this weekend, actually. Saturday and Sunday, they should be all up. So check those out, guys. And stick around at the end. I am giving, um, I'm doing a giveaway. I'm also doing all of my readings at 20% off right now. So definitely check below in the description box to book a reading. And I'm going to talk a little bit about Truly Divine at the end and their amazing services and how you guys can get 30% off of your um, astrology charts, your compatibility charts, um, and numerology. They're really, really incredible. I cannot stress enough how impressed I was. And I've gotten, a, I've gotten my chart done so many times. I've never been more impressed than I was with their service. So definitely stick around at the end. I don't like to, I'm not like somebody who's like all into the sponsors and everything. A lot of people email me about this stuff a lot and they are the only person who I was like, oh my God, like you guys are amazing. So definitely check them out. All right, let's get into your weekend read here. I know things are feeling weird. How are you guys feeling? How are you coping with this isolation and all this craziness? I hope you're doing okay. Stay healthy, everybody. Let's see how this weekend is playing out. Okay. This is a weird one. This is going to be a weird reading, I think. This is going to be an interesting weekend. <laughs> okay. Let me get some water before we get into this because it's weird. Yeah, it's pretty weird. All right. We might even need another deck here for this because it, it's a lot. <laughs> All right. So nine of wands, six of swords. For me, I feel a lot of you guys are really ready and waiting for something to push on to move forward. We've been waiting for this for a while, waiting for the go ahead, the yes, the no, what do we do? Where am I going? You know, I've been through a lot here. I'm exhausted. And now I'm going to have to sit here and wait a little longer, really. Defenses are definitely up. We're feeling anxious, frustrated, and the fact that we don't really know where a situation is going. And if this is a love situation, it definitely feels like you've been waiting for something. You've been waiting for some work to be done on it, for something to move on forward. And it's like, this is this has been a lot. So again, especially if you're dealing with an earth sign, it feels really frustrating in terms of a love situation where you've been waiting for some type of sign that it's going somewhere, that something is happening because we put work into this. We have the physical connection. We've gotten to a certain point. Now we're waiting for, we're waiting for something and it doesn't really feel, if I'm being honest, I don't really know how I feel about that. Let's pull some clarifiers because of what comes after it's a bit... Yeah. They're not willing to put in the effort and they're not coming across as great as they once were. It could even be really messing with your self-confidence with that Knight of Swords coming after the Eight of Pentacles and leading to that Five of Pentacles. I have to say what's coming in could be very cutting and make you again feel more lonely than ever, more alone than ever. They could either be ghosting you for some reason. I don't know. I kind of get that for some of you, but I also could be getting some harsh messages and a need to separate entirely from this person or situation. This is more again, if you're in a weird, like 
secret or not real relationship but you've been aiming for one you know what i mean when you're on the outskirts of it trying to knock on the doors trying to get inside and you can't with this person in situation no matter it feels like how much work you put in and that you've shown you know i have i want to make this happen i want to make it real and that's what i feel with this king of pentacles you've been so patient holding up this pentacle waiting for them to take it and here they are chopping off your arm and running away and you're like, what the hell was that? Like, what the hell was that? Are you serious? Um, somebody really messed with you here. And I think now you can kind of see that the situation has deprived you of something, has made you feel alone, has put you in this state of desperation, and it's time to let it go. Maybe it's time for you to ghost them again. This could also be that that's happened in the past, I'm getting. Because again, this is just a general daily here. Um, but this could have happened in the past for you guys. And now they're coming back and you're like, are you kidding me? No, absolutely not. You mess with me so bad. And you're not going to show them that nice side anymore. You're not going to show them the pretty pictures. You're not going to send them the Snapchats, the Instagram, whatever's and of, you, of you, you know, looking cute and all this stuff. Or um, trying to flirt in any type of non-straightforward way. It feels very... Like, you're ready to cut that off now. You now see that this person really messed with you in a negative way, made you feel bad about yourself, and made you question, I think, a lot of you, you know, how how you look, how you feel about you, what do you really bring to the table, and you bring a lot more, so don't let that person mess with you, because really, um, King of Wands, remember who you are. Let that volcano go off. Let it be anger. You don't you don't mess with me. You don't tell me what my worth is or, more, or you know, make me feel what my self-worth is. I feel that way. I love me. I know what I'm worth. I am better than you. You are. If this is a person, if this is a situation in a relationship. If you are waiting more on the work front for things to shift and change and you feel like you've been waiting and working for a breakthrough for a long time and it hasn't come through, it will. I really feel like it'll be more in Taurus season though, if I'm being honest with you. I'm feeling a lot more breakthroughs as we get there. Aries season's going to be weird and it's frustrating, I know. So I have a lot of placements in Aries and I like to get things moving when we hit April and to have things be so weird and slow and messy and strange right now and scary it's it's a lot hero font death and the high priestess the answers will come transformation will come but we must have patience these are two very mysterious cards with all the higher knowledge your higher self energy, you know that something is coming through and that change might even be beginning from within because right now it can't begin on the outside of you. So know your own self-worth, know truly and have confidence in yourself today and this weekend. There's confidence to be had here. There's a transformation that seems to happen from within you about especially what you're willing to take and how much effort you're going to put into relationships and work situations that aren't giving you much right now you're gonna be like wow i was working so hard at something for what like what was it giving me oh it was giving me this are you serious oh god okay <sighs> some hard truths but also and they could again pick at your ego knock a blow to you this weekend but you know better than that you and i don't want to these this feels like such a mysterious like you like, this is coming in energy. You just got to trust it. Change will come. These are three really big energies. Keeper of the secrets, your higher self. You can feel your way through this. You know that change is coming. You know that this can't be forever and that things are about to shift in a major way. But you have to be patient and you have to work on what you can right now and do what you can. Prepare in ways, you know, the hero fought would. Somebody that is slow, that is going to take things again at this more perceptive knowledgeable pace where they know it's the tortoise and the hare tortoise knows it'll be fine you know this will be fine it's all gonna be good let's pull some oracles because wow what a daily or what a weekend reading right <clears throat> i really want to pull this one and i'm not surprised to get this at all transformation hmm, what were we just talking about 
Okay. The power of your intent leads you around the sacred wheel of endeavor. Begin today with trust and innocence in the early hours. Imagine a quiet pond and see the reflection of your true self. At noon, take a moment to close your eyes and dream. Image the transformation that this day offers you. Seek strength and wisdom through your ability to love to bring this transformation into action and into the words you speak. At night, give thanks for the illumination you have found. Know that the form of your intent leads you to the power of transformation. What a beautiful message. What a nice, I really like this. Tell me how your weekend goes, guys. Tell me also what you guys have been doing to keep busy in this quarantine. Let me know, okay? Check it out over on Instagram. I've been posting some fun stuff there on my stories and stuff. Um, I'm going to try to start posting, posting soon, but I've been having a lot of fun with the stories, so it's been fun connecting with you guys through there and having some quarantine fun, sending everybody sending isolation memes and astrology things right now. It's been really at least an entertaining time because everybody has a lot of time to be more creative, and I think that we're going to see a lot more of that this month. Dawn, the light after the darkness. I really love this card get the book here because I always love the messages from it so should you receive the dawn card you're being reminded that there is always a fresh start and a new beginning to be had wow this is it guys change is unstoppable and even the most difficult times will pass no matter how devastating they may seem hope is one of the most powerful motivating forces in the universe and it's being indicated here hope renewal have hope this change might not seem great right now it might not seem like it's a great open door but it is and it leads you to a place of you know knowing your true power and what you're gonna do to make this situation your bitch <laughs> i love you guys have a wonderful and blessed weekend um again if you want to get 30 percent off of any of those um as astrology charts or numerology charts through truly divine uh, compatibility ones are also like i was really 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 impressed and so was my partner we were so impressed by that um, so definitely check them out, guys. You can use the code DQ30. You can also share it with friends, relatives, loved ones, etc., cetera, um, who are wanting to get their charts done from a really amazing service. Like, they're better than any of the other ones that I've ever used, and I've used a lot, so believe me. Um, anyways, check that out. It's in my description box below, as well as all the information on booking a reading with me and my new and updated prices that are all 20% off right now, okay? Have a wonderful and blessed weekend, um, and we'll see you next week. I don't know if I'm going to be doing dailies or a, just a general weekly for everybody. Just a nice check-in, um, just because I also feel like things are slower now, and we need to take advantage of this time to do things that we want to do, and there's a lot of changes and things that I've been wanting to do, so um, I would like to, you know, have the time to do that stuff and um, really get into it, especially with art. So, anyways, have a blessed weekend, guys. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to check out your monthlies. Namaste.